Paris Hilton, of all people, is perhaps providentially and maybe not surprisingly uh, teaching us a very important lesson in the culture wars. Her recent comments regarding her 20 frozen children is perhaps the best reason for you to oppose IVF. Uh, otherwise known as in vitro fertilization. Now, if you don't know what this is, IVF is when you are creating babies in test tubes, in labs. You're harvesting the mother's eggs, very expensive and probably dangerous procedure to mom, by the way. Then you get the dude's sperm, you create the babies in test tubes, but you got to create a lot of them because it's expensive and it's very unlikely that just one human being will successfully implant in mom's uterus and gestate for the entire uh, length of the pregnancy and then be born naturally. So you create lots of babies and knowing that you'll sacrifice some on the altar of your reproduction. And then if too many take and you implant with too many, you abort some of them in a euphemistic practice known as selective reduction. Well, Paris Hilton just announced that she has 20 boys who are frozen. They are in freezers. Uh, this is what we as pro-lifers should call souls on ice. If you believe that uh, in the science that human beings begin at the moment of conception, uh, then there is a soul present at the moment of conception that's a person and you you are freezing persons uh, because in Paris Hilton's case, they're not the right sex. And when we believe that we have a right to children, suddenly certain realities reassert themselves. We can pretend that we don't know what a man or a woman is, right, uh, until I want a baby. Uh, then we know exactly what men and women are. So Paris Hilton is apparently... I, a sexist, I guess. I mean, that's what I would be labeled. What if like Candace Owens and her husband said, yeah, we have 20 frozen uh, female fetuses. Um, we just really don't want girls. We really don't like girls. We're hoping that the 21st child that we create and deny my womb to um, will turn out to be a boy. Can you imagine, right? Be, but see, it's acceptable to discriminate against men, right? Right? You, toxic masculinity. But if it's a, if you're doing that because you want a girl, then it's it's totally fine. But can you imagine if the roles were reversed? My goodness! Another important lesson from the culture war. So Paris Hilton has 20 frozen sons in labs because, gosh dang it, she wants a girl. And and she announced that the reason she's doing this, by the way, is not because she has a medical issue or some complications from prior pregnancies, it's because she's just afraid of it. She doesn't like it. She remembers living through what she describes as the trauma of watching a pregnant woman in labor on one of her old shows or reality television shows and just decided, I don't really want to go through with that. So I'm just going to have you take out my eggs in a very dangerous procedure. And then whatever dude I decide to have a kid with, you know, we'll get his sperm. And then, uh, oh, well, we'll rent that woman's womb over there. Um, you know, and, and brown and black wombs are usually cheaper, by the way. So we'll just rent that womb and then we'll pay her to gestate my baby. Uh, oh, and if there's something wrong with the baby, we'll tell her that she's legally required to slaughter the child and abort it. And then if we if we get that um, that girl that we really want, then we'll we'll put it in her womb because God forbid I have to go through the physical process of labor. Uh, can you imagine if some of these twenty young boys ever have the privilege that they actually have a right to, by the way, to their mother's uterus or someone else's uterus, and then they end up being born and they end up living and growing and having lives. Can you imagine what they will feel like when they read reports about their sexist mother um, who created them and 19 other of their brothers and kept them in freaking freezers because they just really wanted a girl? Uh, there's this interesting story of a detransitioner who now regrets that, the, you know, that they tried to switch genders, which is not possible anyways. They regret it, right? And so they're sharing their stories. This young man who who spent years convincing himself that they could become a woman is has said that one of the reasons that he chose this route, one of the psychological reasons, is because he could always tell that his father favored his sister, liked her more, loved her more. So what does that do to your psyche as a young boy, as a young son, when all of your father's verbal, nonverbal communication suggests that girls are better? He prefers your sister. He explains this as the primary reason that he tried to become a woman. 
What is that going to do to Paris Hilton's 20 frozen children, sons, boys, pre-born males, whose mother so despises them, so despises their gender, that she created 20 of them and is going to create more until she gets that girl that she feels she's entitled to. This is the opposite side of the same child commodifying coin, to quote my friend Katie Faust. You have the unwantedness of the preborn on one side of the coin and the wantedness of the preborn on the other side of the coin. So if they're unwanted, we say we can remove your right to life. And if they're so wanted because you so want a daughter, then you can destroy their right to your uterus and to have their biological mother, their social mother, and their birth mother all be the same mother. In either case, you're denying children certain natural rights, and you're using the language of wanted or unwantedness. In other words, it's all about you, the adult, and you, the parent. And if you can write the check, you have a right to whatever you pay for. What a disgusting world we are living in.